Hail and meshes, fellow adventurers! Welcome back to the Spot Kingdom. Today we are diving into epic realm of Baldur's Gate 3, and in particular, the exciting world of modding. And today me, Spot the King, will guide you with my vegetable accent on how to mod Baldur's Gate 3 and not break it. Now, before we delve into the how-to aspect, let's have a little discussion about whether or not modding is the right path for you. So, to mod or not to mod? That is the question. Hey, why mess with perfection? Baldur's Gate 3 is already an incredible game with stunning visuals and captivating gameplay. Mods might risk altering its essence. Hold on, hold on, while the base game is fantastic, mods can enhance the experience in unimaginable ways. From improved graphics to new quests and characters, the possibilities are endless. That's the beauty of modding, isn't it? It allows you to tailor the game to your preferences and create a personalized adventure. Let's explore the both sides of the coin and weight pros and cons. On one hand, you are a purist who appreciates the original vision of the game developers. You might want to play it as is. After all, they poured their hearts and souls into crafting this epic adventure. But on the other hand, mods can introduce fresh content, fix bugs and brush new lives into the game, making it even more enjoyable. Some of the benefits of modding include expanded character customization options, additional quests and storylines, and even the ability to play as new races and classes. Mods can truly transform your gameplay experience and keep you engaged for hours on end. Ultimately, the decision to mod or not to mod depends on your personal preferences and playstyle. If you're someone who loves experimenting, pushing boundaries and immersing yourself in unique experiences, modding might be the way to go. But if you prefer a more streamlined, untouched journey, then playing the game in its original form is perfectly valid. Of course, it's important to exercise caution when it comes to modding. Installing too many mods or incompatible ones can lead to crashes or other technical issues. It's always a good idea to read reviews, check compatibility and back up your game files before diving into the world of mods. So, if you decided that you want to mod Baldur's Gate 3, then listen carefully, and you will do it in no time. So, first link will lead to BG3 Mod Manager on GitHub. This is a tool that I use in to install mods very easily and everyone can understand how to do this. So, after you go to this link, go to the assets and then BG3 Mod Manager latest zip so this is a windows latest version so we just press it we download uh, where you want so i just put it in games uh, make folder for it in advance and when it's already downloaded you just go and go into the folder so now we are in the folder just go and extract here just like this so you will have this bg3 mod manager awesome you're done now you need to get some mods so where I'm getting mods? I'm getting mods from the site Nexus Mods. Uh, again, it's second link in the description and it will direct you exactly to the mods page of the site. There are a lot of mods that people making and you just basically can pick whatever mod you like. I advise you to make an account on Nexus Mods. I don't actually uh, remember, can you download mods without account? But uh, some mods will be just filtered uh, when you're not logged in into the site. So after you logged in, you just pick mods uh, that you want uh, and I will just show you mods that I used in early access and uh, maybe I will continue using in the game release. They mostly cosmetic mods, uh, nothing special, so we start with a mod fixer. Mod fixer is just most of the mods uh, say that you need to just download it and install. So how you install, you just go to the mod page and you'll see this manual download button. You just press it and you go slow download, wait 5 seconds and just save this mod in the mod folder. So improved UI, uh, this is uh, all it does. It's basically removing some early access messages. Uh, it can remove for interface for beautiful screenshots. Uh, so I mostly use this for my thumbnails. And now very cool mods, customizers, compendium. This is just insane or a cool mod that increases options in character creation. And again, as uh, author says, um, everyone likes this mod, but hopefully we will get uh, 
uh, these options natively down the road during early access. Uh, so basically what he says is that uh, w when game will be released in few weeks, you won't need this mod anymore. Then Tuff's uh, Heavy Salon, uh, this unlocks a lot of uh, higher styles for mostly female characters, but uh, a lot of uh, male characters too. And for example, on this mod, uh, there's a manual download uh, button you press, you won't be redirected, and uh, on the same page you will have two options, what you want to pick, I pick work in progress, why not? And for this mod uh, to work, you will need a mod fixer, mod manager where we will install it we already done with this mod manager and improved ui so basically this is uh, two mods that you need to install in advance and my favorite uh, this is a lot of dresses a lot of uh, styles uh, a lot of armors and other stuff just tons 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 of armor i will leave a uh, link for this uh, basket full of equipment but keep in mind this is nsf wii version so basically if you're downloading this for kids maybe just don't do it there's another version that is just uh, suitable for everyone so everything downloaded now it's time to install mods this nice instruction uh, for how to use this uh, bg3 mod manager on the github but i will explain you in this video right now if something doesn't work i'm not a developer of this uh, just mod manager so we'll go on this link that i will provide in description if you got problems after watching my video so we start with launching bg3 mod manager xc dot xc and this will launch this version if it launch everything is okay problem there is no mods over here but to see mods over here you need to place them in the right folder so i downloaded all mods in my folder zz mods i just copy them and now we need to go to the app data folder how to go there you just go to the local c i guess or just whenever you want to go and in this top bar just to write ascent app data percent just like that and you will be in app data for a uh, folder most of the time in the roaming one so you need to go to the app data again you need to go to the local and find larian studios there you will see baldus gate 3 and you will see mods folder you go into the mods folder and you just put all your mods over here so after you've done it, if uh, again there's no mods in Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, then you go and put your settings. You go to settings, open preferences, and then and then there's two lines, game data pass and game executable pass. So you need to set up them. So to find your location of Baldur's Gate 3 uh, XC, you need to go to your installation location for me it's uh, f games uh, steam library you go to steam apps you go to common baldur's gate 3 then you go to the bin folder and there you are bg3.exe will be for vulcan version and uh, dx11 for direct x version you just copy this pass over here and click save and game data pass will be one folder below. We go to Baldur's Gate 3 again. We go to data and basically copy, copy this pass over here. So we click save. It's currently done. And we should uh, uh, manually import mods. So you go to file, you go import mod and just uh, pick all mods so that you downloaded in the app data local Larian Studios Baldur's Gate 3 mod. You will see successfully imported, so you click refresh. Sometimes mods will take some time, and you click refresh, and you will see all mods installed already over here. But they still won't work, you need to transfer them from the right side, just drag them to the left side. Then you can save load order, and then you can export order to game. So now we are in the game, let's make sure that everything modded correctly. Let's kick new game. So our beautiful top right now. Can we change something? So yeah, I see it's modded. We got more voices. As you can see, we got horns. Basically, it will make this beautiful stuff on her hair. And there's a lot of hairstyles. 
as you can see this just L O O insane hairstyles let's stick with this one just for mod showcase purposes and let's go on the ship so other mods is installed correctly if you go backwards and just see over here this chest and in this chest there's all mods that you mostly could install so if you, if you installed a lot of food terraces you just equip this amulet using use the spell and you will have basket full of equipment in your inventory you can open it take out basket and in this basket there's a lot of baskets and you will see a lot of beautiful stuff like uh, these stuff these stuff you know maybe you want to be like a rouge with some white helmet or whatever you like and now you can enjoy it with this little button activate photo mode you can enjoy your character character creation and character level up just press escape if you don't want it so as you can see this mods successfully installed and working pretty nicely so if you want to mod baldur's g3 this is how you do it this is how i do it actually and for more awesome baldur's g3 content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for other rpgs too this is spot king welcome to the kingdom my friends